Our new century has been called by many the Asian century. Asia's rapid growth shows no sign of cooling. But with this new wealth comes challenges to protect the natural resources and the wilderness that fuel this development. The icon of Asia's wilderness is this astonishing animal, the tiger. For many Asian nations, the tiger is celebrated as a national treasure. But like so many wild animals, the tiger is under severe pressure. Less than 3,200 remain in the world today. The gravest threat to our tigers is poaching. It's a well-organized, well-funded international illegal network that feeds a multi-million dollar global trade in tiger skins and body parts. It drives poachers into the forest to snare valuable prey. It's the people who, those who are sitting at the top, they are funding this whole trade thing. So they give money to uh, hunters to put snares there. The hunting is done by local people. The locals know the forest and its inhabitants well. What drives this destructive trade? For many poachers, the answer is simple. Money. This is the Mondulkiri protected forest in eastern Cambodia, a lucrative hunting ground for poachers. Tigers were their livelihood. Over 50 years, poachers have devastated the precious wildlife of this area. A large proportion of the natural fauna, including the tiger, are on the brink. But today, local and international conservation projects have started to slowly make a difference. Linka has given up his old trade and assists conservationists to protect this unique forest. The government has introduced laws to stop the poaching. The most important task is to stamp out poaching in the heartlands area of the forest, where tigers live and breed. The slogan is Zero Poaching, and it means not only protecting the animals, but also their habitat 
and the other animals they prey on. You know, it's really difficult to differentiate between logging and, and wildlife trade. So if somebody is coming for cutting down trees, they, they will also kill animals. And then they make new tracks, and that make it easier for the hunters to access the core zone and, and, and access, uh, you know, hunt animals like leopard or tigers or bears. To save the tiger, we need to provide the conservationists on the front line the right tools to eradicate poaching. This means doubling efforts to monitor and patrol, as well as gather basic intelligence about the poachers. WWF is helping the government to manage an area of more than 6,000 square kilometers with only 32 rangers. So it's not possible to be present 24 into 7 in each and every block of the, these two protected areas. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem, you know, if you don't have enough human resources to, to manage the area. To control such vast areas successfully, the government needs a lot more eyes and ears in the tiger heartlands to protect these great cats, their habitats and prey. With new resources, we can start moving in the right direction towards zero poaching. ກໍຕາສາຍນາແຕ່ອ້າຍທໍາທຽນວຽນໃນຄາສແຕ່ສັດປຣີວຽນສັ່ງນາເດຈັ່ງຍິງຊ່ວຍບໍ່ສະນາ